Gantanirumab in particular is a, um, it's an investigational antibody um, against, uh, against beta amyloid. Um, so it's actually one of two investigational antibodies against beta amyloid that we're developing as a company. The other one's called uh, cronizumab. Um, why are we developing two? These are actually different antibodies targeting different, um, uh, different versions of beta amyloid. In the case of gantanirumab, um, it's, uh, it binds most strongly to plaques in the brain. Um, and part of what we're uh, showing here at the conference, based on some prior studies that were run with gantanirumab, where patients went on to an open label extension and were treated for a couple of years with this drug. Um, we were able to show um, evidence that, um, that gantanirumab is able to lower amyloid plaque levels in the brain. Um, as, as many as uh, half of the people exposed to the drug for, uh, for a couple of years um, actually showed complete clearing. So evidence that there was no more uh, detectable plaque in the brain by amyloid PET. Um, and that extends some further findings that we uh, had shown before. Um, showing that in patients treated in as little as nine months, um, uh, up to 30% of those patients showed uh, a lowering of, of amyloid plaque levels. So we're really excited because the, the intended um, uh, purpose of this antibody is to reduce plaques. And we've been able to show that in, these, um, in, in the data that we presented. So Scarlet Road and Marguerite Road were two prior phase three studies that we ran with gantanirumab. Those studies were stopped prematurely because uh, there was evidence that they were not going to meet their primary endpoint. At that point, we turned those studies into open label extensions to allow patients uh, uh, to continue to uh, receive the drug and people who were receiving placebo switched on to active drug. Um, importantly, the studies were stopped not because of any safety concern, but because there wasn't clear evidence of efficacy. And we learned a lot from that experience. We learned that um, that we need to dose higher. And so right now, the current phase three studies that we have going on, we're dosing at about five times the dose that was given in those prior studies. And based on what we've learned and based on those open label extensions that I described, we have really solid evidence that this higher dose is gonna be successful in lowering plaque levels in the brain.